Hi family, this is Mo with Moya Body Care and Colon Hydrotherapy. And I am your colon hydrotherapist that practices the art of internal detoxification through the use of colon hydrotherapy herbs and natural living. And today's video is a celebratory video. This month marks 14 years of Moya Body Care being in business. And as always, every year, I'm focused on working and being of service to my clients and every single year since day one, my best friend, Noemi Soto, will send me a text message or call me and say, happy anniversary. And I'm just like, what is she talking about? And I look and I'm like, oh shit. Every single year, it never fails. And it's not that I don't um, wanna celebrate, um, what is it? I think it's just that um, when you follow what you love to do and when you follow, um, and why am I getting emotional? 14 years. I am literally getting emotional. Wow. Um, that came out of nowhere. Um, I'm not sad or anything like that, but damn, 14 years. Yeah, it, it doesn't feel like 14 years. It feels like last night I started my business. And I think when you, when you are so focused on following your dreams and your passion and you just, you know, go through the motions um, and you just be of service, like un unselfishly with boundaries but unselfishly um i am getting emotional <laughs> this is not the way i wanted this video to go oh my god um so i had a couple of people ask me like what have i learned in my whole process of being in business and self-employed and all that good jazz um I have learned that um, my business is a service business, right? And so a lot of people say, you know, Mo, you should have multiple locations and people working for you and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, with this COVID situation happening this year, I am so uber grateful that I did not follow other people's suggestion and I followed my heart. Because let's just say, what if I opened up four different locations? I would have had to shut all those locations down, laid off all those people. It, 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 you know, where am I going to put all the equipment? I have, I have to sell the equipment, dissolve it. I am so grateful I did not do that. Um, the second thing I've learned is that uh, most people say, oh, you should, um, you know, give other people, you know, duties and let other people help you and et cetera, et cetera. I am so grateful that I don't do that. I run my business all by myself. Literally, I do all of my business taxes by myself because I am a tax preparer. So I do all my tax businesses, um, my tax preparation for my business, excuse me. Um, I do all of my um, inventory myself. I answer the phone calls. Um, I respond to all the emails. So you're only speaking to one person. And sometimes people think that they're speaking to multiple people. They're not. They're only speaking to me. So I am the only person that you speak to. And clients come in and they say, you know, Mo, I appreciate the fact that I don't have to go through five different people to get to you. Like literally, I didn't think you were going to answer the phone or I didn't think you were going to respond to my email or I didn't think that you were going to be doing my colonic. Like, you know, this is awesome. I love that aspect of my business. When I tell you I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Because I can see a client from start to finish. And I can tell you everything that I've done with that client because I document, um, I remember, I take notes, and we develop a relationship. Like with every client I have, I have some type of relationship with them. And I just love it. I, 14 years, I'm still here and people are still wanting me to be here. So that's just awesome. I love it, love it, love it. Um, what else? Um, oh, so this is a big one. So a lot of people ask like, 
you know, how did you buy all your equipment and, and, you know, where do you get your funds from? So I started my business by cashing out my 401k. Now, some people say, oh my God, that was a dumb thing to do. Other people say, you know, I would have did the same thing. I did what I needed to do. That money was money that I paid into for me, for my retirement. I cashed it out. And I was like, I'm going to be self-employed. So I don't need that bucket of money. That bucket of money went into my business. And then I paid everything in cash from that point on. I have no debt for my business. No debt. Everything that you see here in my business, I saved and paid cash for. Um, Some people say that's good. Some people say it's bad. But I tell you what. This year when COVID hit, I didn't have any crazy excess expenses because I paid everything in cash and I would continue to pay everything in cash. Credit is king. Yes, I get all that. However, I was still able to purchase 20 acres of land with cash. How about that? So I'm not cracking on credit. I, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just simply saying that the way that I run my business um credit is not as important to me right now that's just me not to say that my credit is bad or anything i just don't need um credit to purchase any large you know products or anything like that everything that i am needing for my business i can pay cash for because i I strategize. I plan my year out. I don't plan my year out in months. I plan the entire year out. So I know where my money is going, how much money I'm spending this month. I budget like I really, really, really take care of my money and I put a little bit of money aside. Um, I don't have a lot of income coming through my doors. Um, I'm not falling out of control. You don't see me in Dubai, you know, living it up. However, I have gone back and forth to Brazil numerous times. I was gifted a trip in Costa Rica uh, for a speaking engagement. So I try to blend my vacations into my business and that works seamlessly for me. And it just works and I love it. Um, there were a couple of years um, ago, like probably three or four years in a row, where I was able to take off the entire month of December because I planned starting from January to be off that whole month in December. Like, who does that? Nobody sat down and taught me that. I was just like, oh, I want to be off for the month of December, so I'm going to go ahead and start saving money now so I can pay my rents and all that good stuff because I know how much money goes out for my business every month. Because I look at that every week. I know how much money needs to be um, going out for my household because I pay attention to my dollar amount that's coming in and going out. I look at that every week. So if I can tell you anything about how to survive your business, know where your numbers are. Know your numbers. Know what sells in your business and know what doesn't sell in your business. I don't have multiple ways to pay me to pay me for my services i have one way that clients pay me and that's through square and that is because square compiles a report and i can find out what's my highest sales what's my lowest sales how much money i made this month compared to last year the year before that like it just tracks everything for me if I have multiple streams of um, not multiple streams of income but multiple ways for people to pay me I wouldn't know the, the heartbeat of my business. Like you have to know your heartbeat of your business. Yes, different ways to pay you is good. But in the end, as a business owner, who's pulling all that together? It's either you or your accountant. And then that leaves way to, to have um, errors happen. I know every dollar amount that's coming into my business and every dollar amount that's going out of my business. And the same thing for my personal. That's how I've been in business for 14 years. I do it myself. I pay attention to what's happening with my business because I love it. I ain't going nowhere and I'm here. And this year, I really realized that my business is pandemic proof. Like, I'm just, oh, I am just ecstatic right now. Um. 
I don't even know what to say. I feel like crying. I don't know why I feel like crying. I'm here, y'all. 14 years. There are businesses that are falling right now. And I feel some kind of way about that because it's really not cool that I'm celebrating and then there are people suffering. But, oh, my God, I feel so many different ways right now. Oh, I just read that, you know, Sizzler and Sue Plantation corporations have closed their doors forever because they can't cut it with COVID. And I'm celebrating 14 years as a solo practitioner, y'all, as a black woman. I'm surviving. Oh my God. So many emotions. It's just going and going and going. Y'all, you just don't know. Oh my good Lord. It is so worth it. It is so worth it. If I can tell you anything, start your business. Don't wait. Start your business. Go out there and do it. If you need me to talk to you about how to start your business, look, call me. Yo, call me. I will tell you. This is what you do. This is how you do it. This is how you work it. This is how you market it. I may not have, you know, 61 point K people following me on Instagram, but I tell you what, I tell you what, before COVID hit, I was booked out two months in advance going into the third month. How about that? I was a month ahead in paying all my bills. That may not sound like a lot to you, but let me just tell you something about my little personal business. I have business rent. That's damn near $3,000 a month. I have my home rent, I have my land payment, I have all my insurances, all my business insurance, my home insurance, and my land insurance, I have land taxes, like come on yo, I am doing this solo, I may not have a billion people following me on Instagram and social media, whatever, but I tell you what, I'm not sitting there begging nobody for no money, my rents are paid. I got 20 acres of land under my business name. I got two businesses and a third one on the way. I have something to show for my success. I have a beautiful office. My clients are fucking amazing. How about that? My clients are loyal. A lot of times my clients will come in and say, like, if I go on vacation, I don't have anybody that um, comes in and works my business while I'm on vacation. I just shut down. First of all, my clients threaten me about don't be gone too long because I need to get my appointment in or whatever, whatever. So I love that. And then when I'm on vacation, normally I take vacation for three weeks to a month. I don't do a week vacation. I'm gone. When I say I'm gone, I'm gone. Right? When I come back, some clients say, oh my God, Mo, I went to somebody else because I couldn't wait for you and I would never do that shit again because you are the best in the business. Oh my God, do you know how that feels? Do you know how that feels when you come back off of vacation and your first client who's on your table tells you, Mo, I fucking miss you. Don't ever go nowhere. <gasps> ah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, 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 thank you. Thank you. That's all I got. That's all I got. 14 years and a million more. I'm here. I'm not going nowhere. I am so overwhelmed with gratitude. Thank you.